Hey guys, it's Chris at Highland Guitars. You're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned the honor and privilege of your subscription. And of course, to everybody who's watching, if you enjoy this video or get anything out of it, I would appreciate it if you would click that thumbs up button down below. It's a great way to show support and you don't have to spend any money. And of course, if you'd like to take your support to the next level, you can visit eGuitarPlans.com or my Highline Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. And any purchase that you make there, you will help to support this channel so that I can keep building guitars and making these videos. What I want to do in today's video is I want to start out by providing you with a hypothetical situation. Let's say you have just finished building a guitar. And this can either be a guitar that was made from scratch or one that was built from a kit. It doesn't matter. But let's say you've just finished the guitar, you've strung it up, you've tuned it, intonated it, and then you plug it into the amplifier. And when you play it for the first time, you're suddenly hit with the realization that you're really not very happy with the tone of that guitar that you've just labored over for so long. What are you going to do? Are you going to scrap the guitar and start over? Of course not. You've spent too much time and invested too much work and money into building that guitar. There's got to be a way that you can improve the tone of that instrument. Um, and the reality is, um, with a solid body electric guitar, there's a lot you can change to improve or to change the tone. Now, we have to think, first of all, about tone itself. Tone is subjective. What I like, you may not like. And what you like, I might not like. That's how tone works. Uh, when you go into a guitar store and you take a guitar off the wall and play it and think, nah, I don't like the tone of that guitar. That sounds terrible. You'll put it back up on the wall and walk away. Somebody else is going to walk up, play that guitar, love it, and buy it. It's just how tone works. There's no good tone. There's no bad tone. There's just different tone. And that's the key thing to remember when it comes to dialing in the tone of the guitar that you just finished building. Once it's done and everything's been strung up, you might think, well, that's it. I, you know, this is what I got. This is what I have to live with. And in some cases, if that is, were really the situation, you could at least sell the guitar or trade it to somebody else. The problem with that is if you're just a, an amateur hobby builder, your guitar isn't going to have that much value. So it's going to be hard to convince somebody to pay to buy the guitar that you built. They might be willing to trade, but you know, that's, that's a dicey proposition. If you, you know, had a, uh, a vintage Les Paul and you didn't care for the tone or the feel of the guitar, that's easy to trade or sell, but not a guitar that you've built yourself. So what you have to do is you have to start looking at the components and things that you can change that will affect or alter the tone and hopefully bring it closer or in line to what you really want. So the first thing that you have to look at are the pickups. Pickups are relatively easy to change. If you know how to use a soldering iron, and let's face it, if you just built a guitar, you probably do. Unless, of course, you built a kit guitar where everything came assembled. Um, but if, if you have some reasonable skills at soldering, you can um, desolder and remove the pickups and then replace them with a different set. Well, before you do this, you're going to have to do some research. You're going to have to find out what type of pickups you need to drop in this guitar to get the tone that you want. And probably when you built the guitar or were first at least planning the build, you probably selected the pickups because you thought they would lend a certain tone to the finished instrument. And if that didn't live up to your expectation, you're going to have to swap out those pickups. But knowing how the, uh, the pickups that are in the guitar affect the tone, that can help you to select a different set of pickups. But like I said, you're going to have to do some research and you're going to have to learn how different pickups sound in a guitar. And that can be a bit challenging. And what I recommend you do is not only learn about how pickups work and how um, to choose different pickups, but what you also want to do is purchase from somebody or a business that's going to allow you to 
exchange the pickups if they don't live up to your expectations. That's a key thing. If, if you build a guitar and you don't like the way it sounds, you want to be able to remove those pickups and then contact whoever you purchase them from and maybe swap for a different set and try those to see if that's going to get you closer to the tone that you want. Changing the pickups will be the single biggest thing that you can do to affect the tone. Now another thing you can do is look at the electronic controls that control the signal coming out of the pickups. And I'm talking about the volume and tone potentiometers and the capacitor that is soldered to your tone uh, potentiometer. All those elements or items and components can be changed and swapped out and they can have a significant effect on tone. But again, you're going to have to do your research because there are different brands, different values, and different styles of potentiometers that you can choose from. Unfortunately, potentiometers aren't that expensive. So you can buy uh, an assortment of different potentiometers and try those to see how they affect the tone of the guitar. Now typically what we're talking about with different potentiometers is we're talking about different styles which can mean either a linear style potentiometer or a audio style potentiometer. They have different, they roll off the signal differently. So by trying different ones you can get a different effect. Um, then there is the different brands. Uh, they're typically, the most popular brands are CTS, Borns, and Alpha. Now there are other ones out there, but those are the three that seem to be the most popular. But they all feel and perform a little bit differently. And you'll want to try them out to see which one you prefer by both the feel as well as how it affects the, the tone. Uh, then the, of course there is the value of the potentiometer. You can get a wide range of different values. Typically the most popular are 250K and 500K, but you can get anything in between or on either side of that and experiment to see how it affects the tone. And once you have selected the right potentiometer, uh, you can start to look at things like the capacitor that you're going to solder to the, to the uh, tone potentiometer. The capacitor will have a dramatic impact on tone as well and how that tone is controlled. So you're going to want to look at the value of the capacitor, the uh, style that of its manufacture because there are a lot of different types of capacitors out there. You know, you got your paper and oil, your ceramic, um, the film capacitors, and all these have a different effect. Fortunately, once again, they're inexpensive, so you can buy an assortment and then just, uh, you can actually um, alligator clip them in temporarily as you try different capacitors to see how they affect the tone of the guitar. So those are the main things that you can do to change the tone of the guitar that you just finished building swapping out pickups, and experimenting with different electronic controls. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot you can do to the guitar itself. You can't, obviously can't change the wood. That's why I never like to talk a lot about tone wood in solid body electric guitars, because you can pick the wood based on its um, alleged uh, effect on tone, you know, because supposedly mahogany has a certain sound, maple has a certain sound, and rosewood, ebony, they all have a certain sound. But the reality is that sound can uh, vary from one board to the next. So you're, you're never really going to know for sure how the wood is going to affect the tone until you've strung it up, tuned it, intonated it, plugged it into your amp, and played it. And if you're not happy with your choice. There's nothing you can really do as far as the wood is concerned. It's already done. You can't change the shape of it. You can't replace a species. It's just, it is what it is. So you have to focus on the components that you can change. So that's why you don't want to be too uh, concerned with the selection of tone wood. Um, you can go ahead and choose specific tone wood based on its uh, reputation for affecting tone, but don't bank on it. Don't bank on it at all. Bank on how the pickups and the controls are going to affect the tone. And then another thing you can also do, and this is this is a little bit beyond um, just the guitar itself, but you can change the entire signal chain from the guitar to the speaker. 
So you can change the cable that goes out because the cable can actually affect the tone. And it does, believe it or not. It can affect the capacitance of the guitar signal. Uh, you can change the amplifier. You can go for a totally different style of amplifier. Um, and then, you, of course, you can change the speaker. And then let's not forget everything that's in between the speaker and the output jack. You know, pedals, uh, um, preamps, all that kind of stuff that can affect the, the tone. And sometimes the guitar you build just isn't going to play well with what you currently have. And if you really love that guitar and don't want to change it, you can con certainly consider changing everything in the signal chain to dial in the tone to be exactly what you want. Now, I'm sure some of you are hoping for a very specific details here about how to select different pickups and how to select different electronics or cables and amplifiers and speakers. But the reality is you've got to do the research because like I said, tone is subjective. What I like, you may not like, and what you like, I may not like. And because of the nature of the subjectivity of tone, you really have to take some time to learn um, how these different components are going to affect tone so that you can make the right decision. And one thing that I would highly recommend you consider is picking up the complete guitar wiring book by Jerry Hayes. I've talked about this book before. In fact, I did a review of it and I'll post a link up above to that video. But this book is going to tell you absolutely everything you would ever want to know about electric guitar electronics and what you can do to dramatically change, um, alter, and dial in the tone of the guitar that you just finished building. So I hope you found this video to be useful and it will give you some food for thought. And at the very least, I hope it inspires you to go ahead and build that guitar, even though you may not be really well versed in a lot of this information. Just know you can change everything and you can change the way the guitar sounds. And it's a great way to, um, to dial in how the, the guitar is going to sound so that all the work that you've put into building the guitar doesn't go to waste. So, um, as always, until the next episode, be sure to like, comment, share, uh, subscribe to the channel, visit eGuitar Plans, visit the Highline Guitars merch store. And until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll be back for more guitar building videos.